If you won't be married in heaven, what's the point of marriage on earth? Uh, someone recently asked me that question at our church's Q&A Sunday, and I love that question because you might not know how the question began. You're not married in heaven. That's true. Did you know that? I, I don't think you get to wear the ring because there's no marriage in heaven. In Matthew chapter 22, the Sadducees were trying to trap Jesus. Uh, they told them a story about this woman who married a guy and then he died, so she remarried. And then the second guy died and she kept remarrying. All these guys kept dying. Oh, and now she gets to heaven. Who is she married to, Jesus? <laughs> Here's what Jesus says to their absurd question. He says, you are in error because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God. At the resurrection, people will neither marry nor be given in marriage, they will be like the angels in heaven. So Jesus is reminding us that forever and ever, we will not be husband and wife. The angels who are happier than you have ever been, uh, they don't take vows and get married. No. For some of you, that's a huge stumbling block. What? My wife's watching this video. I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Right? I mean, the, for those of us who have good marriages, we, we can't imagine not being married, like getting to heaven. Wait, you're not my spouse. We're not going to have the same home. Well, how, how could I be happy? And so some people wonder, well, what's up with that? Here's my short answer. Um, when you see God's face, <laughs> you are not going to be worried about your relationship status. The angels in heaven aren't pacing the halls of heaven wondering when they can find a date. They, they get to see the face of God and it makes them happier than any relationship you've ever had. Any marriage, any friendship, raising kids, it is nothing compared to seeing God's face. You don't have to worry if you play golf or soccer in heaven, if your cat or your dog is going to be there. Come on, we are talking about the presence of God to see his face. I need you to know that. Some people think heaven is boring. You sit on a cloud and wear a diaper and play a harp and you need all these things. You don't need those things to be happy. Heaven is the most thrilling place because you get to see and know God better than you ever have before. I care about this question. <laughs> Can you tell? All right, but now back to the original question. Wait, so if that's not in heaven, you just you know, be with God and his people somehow and everything's great, then why do we have marriage on earth? Well, lots of answers to that question. We could talk about the stability of society. We could talk about raising children with you know mom and dad in the home. The, the commitment, the vow of marriage is so good in so many ways. Um, but I'm going to pick just one. Uh, marriage on earth, it's not for everyone. It wasn't for Jesus or Paul, but it is for many of us. Marriage on earth gives you a glimpse of the God who knows you and yet still loves you. I'll say that again. Uh, when you have a good marriage, you get a glimpse of the God who knows so much about you and yet still loves you so much. Married people, do you get what I'm getting at? Uh, because, you know, I'm on a TV show and I do a lot of stuff online, I will often meet people who think I'm a better person than I actually am. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be with my wife and with my kids and some like fan of Time of Grace or church will come running up, oh, Pastor Mike, such an honor to meet you. And, you know, they're gushing. And <laughs> I wish you could see the expression on my family's faces. They're like, what? Dad? <laughs> Kim's like, oh, no, no, no. The luster wears off. He's very human and she's very right. I mean, she knows. She, she's seen me at my best and my worst. She's seen me with a stack of Kleenexes blowing my nose. She's seen me bl blow up and lose my cool. She's seen my sin. She's seen my good works. She's seen more of me than almost any human besides my parents. Uh, and yet she loves me. I've given her th thousands of reasons to not love me, but she still loves me. She is as close to unconditional. She chose me. She could have... She such an amazing woman. She could have chosen many people. She chose me. And she keeps choosing to be with me despite knowing all of me, the worst parts of me. That is it's just a glimpse of God. 
But God knows you. He knows what you think, what you say, your weaknesses, your sins. And yet, every day he chooses to pay attention to you. He chooses to forgive you. He chooses to be your father in heaven. If you ask me, what is the point of marriage on earth? I, I wouldn't just talk about the stability of society. I would talk about a glimpse of the gospel, fully known and yet fully loved by God himself. You don't have to be married to be happy or to be Christian, but for those of us who are, what a happy thought to know that just like my spouse, God knows, sees, and yet loves. He still chooses me.